Hi, I'm Ole Englund and today I'm trying out the Mercurial Spark plugin. Mercurial is a Russian plugin brand that I first got word about back in 2015 when they released an excellent amp plugin based on the Engel E530 preamp. Now Mercurial are releasing a new plugin called Spark that contains four different Marshall amplifiers, the JCM800, the AFD Slash signature head, the JMP Super Lead and JMP Super Bass. With this plugin, you're getting a lot of extra options and features, such as overdrive pedals, you're getting effects such as chorus, delay, reverb, as well as a cabinet emulation with several cabs and the possibility to mix two different microphones. So the interface is pretty straightforward. You have the amp part in the lower part of the plugin window with the face of the amplifier. You have the presence knob, bass, middle, treble, gain and master volume. You can change between the channels by moving the cable up and down. The upper part of the plugin has two windows. You have the cabinet emulation part and the effects part. Both pages has the noise gate and stomp box controls shown at the left. The stomp box part lets you choose between four different overdrives. The Ibanez Tube Screamer 808, an 808 Mod, a Tube Screamer 7 and a Mesa Boogie Grid Slammer. It's a good way to give the amps the extra boost they need if you want them to sound more metal or if you just want more gain for leads. The cabinet part lets you choose between two really good sounding 4x12 cabinets using two different speakers. First one is based on a Bogner Uber cab with either a T75 or a V30 speaker and the other is a Marshall 1916B with either Greenbacks or JBL K120 speakers. You can use either one or two different microphones and blend them together if you want. Over here on the right side, you set the different preamp and power amp tubes, oversampling, and if the plugin should be mono or stereo output. On the effects page, you have the controls for the chorus, the reverb, and the delay. If you keep the chorus with minimal depth and fast speed, you will create a very pleasant width to the sound. You can also, of course, set it for a lush, clean sound. You also have a reverb with different modes and a stereo delay. Let's check out a couple of presets I made.
Now, my initial thoughts straight after just opening up the plugin in Logic and starting to play around is just how good the sound is out of the box. The cabinet impulses are on point, the tone knobs and the gain stages behave like they would on the original amps, and uh, the power amp stages, which is the stronger side or Marshall amplifiers, is very well represented. It's something Mercurial put a lot of attention to when they model these amps. All these aspects show that the people at Mercurial knows what they're doing and that their modeling technique is spot on. Something that I recalled from the last plugin from Mercurial I tried was that when you're using it, you're quickly forgetting that you're playing through a digital plugin. The quality of the audio was just amazing. And I get the same feeling here when I'm playing through the Spark plugin. Usually, the digital high end is what gives away if an amp modeling plugin is good or bad, but with the Spark, I'm not getting that nasty high end. It responds really well and it represents the real deal very well. Also, it doesn't hurt that the interface looks really awesome. If you're interested in trying out and see how it sounds for you, you can download the free demo from their website. For more information and the demo, go to mercurial.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!